Every single summer, I used to wear cardigans and beach cover-ups to hide my hyperpigmentation. Since I've started using Kojic Acid Soap the right way, my dark marks have significantly reduced and I'm finally feeling confident to wear that summer dress. Kojic Acid is made from several different types of fungi. It can also be created during the process of fermenting rice water. Because of its melanin blocking properties, Kojic Acid is helpful in treating and preventing all different types of hyperpigmentation. This is all amazing, but Kojic Acid, more specifically Kojic Sun Soap, can have some downsides. Here are some tips and tricks so that you can have a pleasant experience and stay tuned into the end because i will show you a before and after be aware of counterfeit items koji sun soap will never come to you without a plastic packaging around it in addition to this the packaging should have the brand's logo this is also the same for the outside packaging the logo should be on the front back and sides on the back we'll have some information like instructions and we also have the batch number the date it was made and the expiry date. It will also contain an ingredients list. The actual bar of soap does not contain a logo stamped on it. And you will know Kajisan soap by a specific scent. It smells sweet and citrusy. So if you've purchased a soap that has Kojic acid stamped on it and doesn't smell at all like citrus, it may be fake. I always purchase mine from Amazon and I'm lucky enough to never receive a fake bar of soap. Tip number two is to cut it into small pieces. As stated before, Kajisan soap melts down very quickly. This soap also lathers very quickly. If you were to use the entire bar without cutting it down, you could see your soap wither away in no less than five days. And I'm being serious. By cutting it into pieces, you can make your soap last a lot longer. Keep one piece in your bathroom and store the rest away in a cool, dry place ready to use once this one is finished you can use this soap twice daily and to get the best out of your usage you want to lather it up until it's really thick and creamy leave it on for around three to five minutes on your desired area this could be your hands your arms your legs your feet or your whole body and you could use this before you shower or during your shower it all depends on what's easiest for you the main areas that I wanted to target was my arms. If you want to use this soap on your face, I suggest you use it only once per day as it can become a little bit irritating and drying. Also, remember not to use Kojic Acid for more than three months at a time. After using it for three months, give yourself a one month break, then continue use as normal. Once you have left the product on for around three to five minutes, just rinse it off with warm water. Feel free to use other products after this, then you want to delicately pat your skin dry. This soap can make your skin extremely dry. I've even heard in some cases that people's skin started peeling and that is why this next step is so important. You have to make sure that you are hydrating your skin adequately. I love sweet almond oil. I have this huge bottle that I use all over my body even when I'm not using Kajic Acid. Sweet almond oil can also help improve your skin complexion. It helps your skin retain moisture and keeps your skin hydrated, while the vitamin E helps soothe. On the areas of my skin that get particularly dry, I like to use CeraVe's Healing Ointment. I mainly use this on my knuckles and hands. If you're using the soap on your face, CeraVe's Healing Ointment is perfect for the corners of your lips that get extra dry when using Kajic Acid Soap. CeraVe's Healing Ointment helps protect your skin, soothe and hydrate, and helps you recover from cracking and dryness, which you will get from using Kajic Acid Soap. You're finally seeing results and you want it to stay that way. Make sure that you are protecting your skin from the sun. 
I use Nivea Sun Moisture and Protect 30 SPF on my body. If you can find 50 SPF, that's even better. And I know a lot of sunscreens can leave a white cast, but this one doesn't. So it's perfect for all my brown girls just like me. It has a spray nozzle so that you never use too much. I use this on my body, on my face. And you should be reapplying the sunscreen every two hours, no matter what the weather. Exfoliation is another key step with using kojic acid soap. It helps remove dead skin cells so the products that you're using can penetrate a lot deeper, especially with applying sunblock every two hours. That's a lot of build up. This is called a support and it's amazing at exfoliating your skin. I use this whether I'm using kojic acid or not. Forget your exfoliation gloves and your loofers. You have never felt good exfoliation until you've tried one of these. I also choose to chemically exfoliate. This helps penetrate down into the deeper layers of your skin, especially for the thicker areas like your knees and your elbows. I use glycolic acid toner 7% from The Ordinary every three days. Chemically exfoliating can do things that manually exfoliating could never and you'll find that whatever you're using to get rid of your hyperpigmentation will work 10 times better. Now it's time for a before and after. I didn't ever intend on making this video, so I don't have any solid before footage, but I do have a few pictures from when my ex mascara and hyperpigmentation was at its worst. It's safe to say that these results are amazing. It took a while for me to find ways to use Kojic Acid Soap so I didn't get all those negative effects. But now with this video, you can skip all the mishaps and go straight to having nice clear skin. Kojic Acid can be created during a fermentation process of rice water. And I do have a video on that. So, if you want to see that video, it will be down in the description box below. Also, let me know if this video helped you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!